Okay, welcome to uh, No One's Onion. This is uh, the event application for the BlackBerry smartphone. It utilizes uh, RIMS always on, always connected uh, platform. And to provide you with up to date event information at your fingertips. So, launching the event, we have a basic homepage, uh, allows you to do different things. Down the bottom, we have uh, fresh pics of the day, which I think is pretty cool. It uh, shows the user the latest events that were added to the database. So if we go ahead and uh, click on any one of these, it will uh, launch the event. Uh, so we launched the event, and here we got we have all the description and uh, everything that the user may need. Uh, so we got the event name, description, uh, the host location. Parish that it's located in, costs, event date, start, and uh, and then on the bottom here we have a event rating, and this is a rating that the user can uh, select. And we'll select one here. We'll give it a four. So the rating it uh, will be submitted online, and then uh, the event will be the event rating will be updated uh, for future updates. All right, so uh, say we don't want this event, uh, so and we're getting a little antsy from being on the island, so uh, we launched the I've Got a Rock Fever. Perhaps an event, a random event that you've never tried before will solve your problem. And there we go, and the event will launch. Once we click. All right, so we launched the event, and uh, here we go, the national Equestrian Center, some harness racing, and event detail layout is uh, the same for all events. Uh, try and keep it consistent and fairly simple. So we'll uh, rate these guys a four, uh, help them with their onion rating. Uh, all right, so that's uh, the random event. So we'll just quit out and we'll uh, launch it again. Just Alright, let's see. Oh, there we go. Dave's pool party. Let's do that. Alright, so we'll uh, exit out of here and go to the search. So launching the uh, search, we have uh, various filters we can apply. Uh, the default it will always be left as the, the uh, will be any. So any this search will pull up any events uh, for this particular day. But uh, we probably don't want to do that. We want to filter them down uh, so we can uh, sort by parish. So we have all the standard parishes. Uh, and so we will choose Pembroke for this demo. Let's see what happens. And then the date, we can set the date, date range. Uh, right now it's just by selecting the date like this format. Uh, in the future, I might just have it so you can select like uh, next week or next month or this weekend. Uh, something not specific. Uh, cost, you can set to anything. Uh, so we're on a budget today, 50 bucks. And then uh, the host, this, this field will actually be auto populated based on uh, extracting the data from the database. Uh, but for now, I just kind of hard coded this, uh, these choices, just to kind of show what just the feature of it. Uh, then we got our onion rating as well, and this is this goes back to where the users they can uh, update the event, the event rating, and we can go from there. So we click search, got two results: Mike's code jam and Dave's pool party. So we want launch the code jam, which uh, is probably a, a very cool event that many will attend. And look at that. So as you notice, there's a little black box with uh, some numbers. This is actually binary code. So events that have a poster associated with them, you can actually display the uh, poster so that the user can click on the, p the poster or the image, and it will launch a full screen image of that poster. So this allows the uh, producer to uh, still have their feel for to allow them to get their feel of the event versus the no one's onions feel.
So I rated five, of course, because it's uh, programming for the BlackBerry competition is just awesome. And uh, there we go. And so if we come out of this and you go to days, you will notice that there's uh, not actually a photo available. So it handles both cases if there's a poster or not. And so that demonstrates that. So we go back to my code jam. All right, this event looks good, but uh, what good is it if it's just on here? So what we do is we add it to our calendar. And then, uh, so we add it, uh, puts it in a calendar automatically. Don't need to worry about it. All right, let's send it to a buddy. Let's send him a text message. Doesn't have email. So there you go. Just the simple the event name, cost, date, and location. Uh, so we just send it to a, a made up number. Let's type it in. And we're good to go. Here's your text message. The word and describe it. All right. So say you want to uh, send it to uh, via an email, we can do that. Auto populates the uh, event body as well as the subject with the event name, and you'll notice that this actually has more detailed information than the text message, and that's just to uh, because the email you can well you can afford to put more details in there, whereas the text message you only limit to uh, so many characters. So, so that's the email. So we're not going to save this again. So we'll just discard it once again. And yep, there we go. So just uh, come up at the detail page, back to the results, and go back again to the search filters, and back to the home page. And then we just have a little about. Uh, this basically the event name uh, developed by something's developing as a team name it chose and there we go we got the version number well this is just the beta version and, uh, all right so just to confirm that we have a calendar event we'll exit out and we'll launch the calendar all right so we got the calendar and look what we got we got two code jams uh, that's a bug but what's uh, fruits and veggies without the bugs? All right, and that concludes uh, No One's Onions app uh, demo. Uh, glad you watched the video. I really had a great time in uh, programming and uh, going through the process. Uh, I'm, I'm going to stay on and keep developing the app after this, and uh, we'll see how things go. Thanks again.